you have heard that uh, if you have found Jesus and uh, become a backslider, if you fall away from Jesus back to sin, like a dog who, who goes back to, to his vomit, you can always come back to Jesus. So, so long you are alive, you, you can come back to Jesus. That's what you probably have heard. Because that, that is what many people preach. I am here to tell you the truth. In some cases, if you have fallen away too far, you can't come back to Jesus. You can't repent again. It's over. You will burn in hell. In many cases, I believe in the most cases, you can come back to Jesus. Here is a good example of uh, examples when uh, people can come back to Christ after they have backslided. Brethren, if anyone among you wanders from the truth and someone turns him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from the error of his way will save a soul from death and cover a multitude of sins. James 5, 19 to 20. So here is example that in many cases people can still come back to Christ after backsliding. But in some cases, when you have fallen back too far, that you can't come back. I will uh, pick up evidence from the Bible here. Like it says in Hebrews 6, 4 to 6. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and have become partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come if they fall away to renew them again to repentance since they crucify again for themselves the Son of God and put him to an open shame. Here it says it's impossible and here it talks about those who have fallen away too far. Like I said, in most cases I believe you can always come back to Jesus because you have not be, been cut off yet as a branch because this is about if you have been cut off you can't repent again it's like Jesus says in Matthew 7 19 every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire notice that it's two different things thrown into the fire and cut, cut down it's two separate things. Thrown into the fire means that you will end up in hell. But cut down means that you uh, already in this life will uh, be separated from Jesus. Because Jesus is the true wine. The father is uh, the husband man. And you are the branch. You are the branch. You are uh, in... in uh, in the true wine in, in Jesus Christ in his body if you fall away in most cases you will still be with Jesus and th therefore you can come back because you you have not been cut off yet but if you uh, fall away too far if you live in willful sin maybe for years and uh, for, for, for a very long time and you, you don't get any fruit, you, you don't spread the word to people, you, you live like the devil it's himself, but, but, but you have the Holy Spirit. You can't, you can't live like that. One day, Jesus will be too tired of you and, and you will be cut off like a branch, like it says here, like he says. And when you are cut off, then it's like it says in Hebrews 6, 4 to 6. You can't repent again. And it's like what the Bible says. Many people want, don't like to hear what I say in this video, I guess. Because they, they have itchy ears. They want to hear that they can always come back to Jesus and repent. But I have get, give you, given you evidence from the Bible that you, that, that, that you can't always do that. So uh, be very serious about your uh, salvation. Don't leave Jesus Christ because it's uh, you, if you fall away too far, it's over. And uh, like it says in Isaiah 1:28, the destruction of transgressors and of sinners shall be together, and those who forsake the Lord shall be consumed. 
Jeremiah 15:6 it says, "You have forsaken me," says the Lord. You have gone backward. Therefore I will stretch out my hand against you and destroy you. I am weary of relenting. So live righteously, live holy, and obey Jesus until the end of uh, uh, for the rest of your life, and you will go to heaven. Like it says in 1 Corinthians 15:34. Awake to righteousness and do not sin. For some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. This person speaks to their shame because they, they did not did not understand that they had to stop sinning. It's like Jesus also says in John 8:11, go and sin no more. So awake to righteousness and do not sin. In Psalm 106:3 it says. Blessed are those who keep justice and he who does righteousness at all times. In Matthew 5:6 it says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. In Matthew 5:10 it says, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When you follow Jesus, When you live godly and uh, spread the word to other people, you will be persecuted. For me personally, now I have been persecuted in my school because I spread the word to people in the school. Not when they they were sitting and studying. I meant before they they started to study and and, and stuff like that. Uh, before they they before the classes and uh, before they started to study. Uh, so I did not disturb anyone. But someone uh, went to uh, someone who did not like what I did. Uh, talked with the people who work at that school. So now I have uh, been warned that I must stop spread the, the word in my school. It also happens when you go out on the streets. It's always someone who don't like what you do. It doesn't matter where you are, because always someone will not like what you do. But that's how it is. You must be uh, ready to face this. So uh, stop sinning. Uh, it's like it says in 1 Corinthians 5:5. It, it's about the man who uh, who went back to sin. So uh, I can read: Deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of the flesh. He was delivered back to Satan because he he went back to sin. So if you go back and live in sin, you will uh, be in Satan's pocket. You can't go, walk with Jesus and live in sin. You can't. So never leave Jesus, and he will never forsake you. In Joshua 1:9 it says, "Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed." For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And in Matthew 28:20, 20, Jesus says, "I am with you always, even to the end of the age." So stay with Jesus. Don't be cut off. Stay with Him. Don't go back to sin. Jesus bless you.